What's going on, everybody? It's Ricker. It's Bonnie, everybody's favorite podcast, and my laptop is about to die. Are you recording yet, Bonnie? Recording. This is the intro. Yeah. Hit that music. Thanks for listening. Enjoy. Oh, you don't want me, man. Hey, 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 Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Ah, <laughs> oh, how do I, how do I, how do I get in this? How do I wiggle my way into this live? So you're on Instagram. You're gonna see something on my face, and you're gonna wonder right away. What about my name? My name is Bon. He's saying to himself. Yeah, where's my name? I didn't make yours, and I kind of forgot how to do it. So I've been going in, and it's not being right. But I, I, no one's gonna know who I am though. <laughs> Everyone's gonna think I'm also Ricker, guys. I mean, it's I'm Bond. I'm not Ricker. <laughs> uh, someone would naturally assume that if they go into Instagram, Ricker and Bond, they see one man with the Ricker on their forehead, then the other one with no word on their forehead. That's automatically just another Ricker. Oh no! I did it in the spur of the moment in the in the last episode, which was a solo Ricker episode, and I just I needed I needed a little go. <laughs> Now they're now they're gonna be confused, bro. It's not Ricky and Ricky, dude. It's Ricky and Bond, dude. It's, it's not Ricky squared. What are we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta fix it. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll be I, I'll be something else. <laughs> I did this spur of the moment, doing this little solo episode, and then oh shit, uh, and I also got Anyone got to start on YouTube filter? going. Say it again. Anyone can use this filter. Oh yeah. Oh fuck yeah. Oh, yeah, so if you guys want to just rep your squad, if you want to rep your Team Raker or Team Bond, go into Instagram, type in... Uh, it's kind of hard to find filters, I guess. But you go in there, find your filters, type in Raker and Bond. Or actually, go to Raker and Bond, and there's, like, tiles, categories of things. And uh, one's, like, a filter. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Live on Instagram, live on YouTube and Twitch. Streamlabs can suck my cock, dude. Not working again? No, I, I, a victory fellatio. Did mm. it. Yeah. Live on Twitch, Caller John. Live on YouTube, Rick and Bond. Got clips going up, shorts going up. Trying to see if shorts are better than clips. That on actually one is. But Rick and Bond, fun clips. Fun things to do. What's going on? Episode 286, in-depth, free-flowing conversation about whatever's appropriate at the time. I'm Ricky. You can clearly see that if you're on Instagram, because there's my name on my forehead. Sometimes it goes to a weird face mesh, uh, like, what's it called? Chessboard type looking thing. And that's Bond. That's me. This cat here is getting out of control. What's going on, man? What's going on? So How you doing? How you here. feeling? How you moving? Jay chilling, you know me, just out here, just moving, shaking, just beat two kids up in the street for looking at me <laughs> funny. That's so, where you live, you know. This is where I sleep near. Yeah, you gotta fucking gotta be territorial in these yeah. in these in these jungles. I piss on every corner I go to. I pee on homeless people to let them know that yeah, it's my sidewalk. <laughs> I'm like a cat. You piss on, on my things. Sidewalk. Yeah, Man, lift up my leg a little, just a little piss. 
going on with you? Oh, nothing. Woke up relatively not long before this at like 10 ish. Read an article about octopus dreams. Um, charged a phone. Did some toiletry things. Did you say octopus dreams? Yeah, octopus oh. dreams. Uh, there's questions. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hold on. We got a we got a question from Instagram. If you are in Instagram, put in your questions if you like it. A uh, Lewis can't skate. Said, okay. Are you a part of Ooga Booga Gang? And Ooga Booga that? Gang is not something I rep. It's not something I rep. Ooga Booga Gang. Uh, that's just me though. I don't fuck with the Ooga Booga game. Okay. Um, they are actually the ones that looked at me funny. So. Oh, uh, they're actually the people you beat up. I had oh, to. Uh, the OBG. Had to lay them jujitsu on them real quick. Y N. Um. They're dead now. Octopus dreams. There is a. There's. You know an app called Pocket. Pocket. Oh, dude, what's going on, Lizimits? Live on Twitch, Colin John. <laughs> Just potting, just potting hard. Episode two eighty six, um, pocket it, like shows you articles from the web, like the the web. And oh, yeah, I've been on pocket since like twenty fifteen. <laughs> I pocket hard, and I never clicked any of their emails, ever. It's like really pretty cool articles, but never click them because why would you? But then there was one is like octopus dreams. Why do why do they dream? And they were trying to figure out. What's going on, Princeton? Live on Twitch, dude. They better dream with those big assets. <clears throat> Scientists thought, these dummies, that dreams only occurred after a common ancestor that humans had with birds. Apparently, common ancestors with birds, pretty, pretty cool. Um, but they're, they're seeing these that these cephalopods, these cephalopods that are octopus and around, the octopuses also kind of they can catch some dream dreamlike qualities in them, and they're trying to figure out what's what's good with their dreams, you know. Hmm. I wonder yeah. what they dream about. They probably dream about all their stresses on I, under the sea, being just fucking octopus. So what it seemed like it was just uh, kind of their natural like mating and predatory stuff, like just things that they they change colors based on those things. On like sex and defense and like fighting, so I think from what I saw, it was just those things. You hear hmm. doubled in Twitch? That's uncool. Let me just mute that out real quick. Thanks for the heads up, Lamitz, Lizzie Mitz. Um, hey, what's yeah. going on? What's going on with the uh... fuck octopuses, bro? Let's talk about money. <laughs> how's, how's the fucking markets doing bro how's your portfolio doing i don't give a shit about no octopus uh, unless it's on my fucking sushi plate at nobu zingers <laughs> i thought you were gonna say sushi swap a uh, little all crypto going on i am not in the ones that rocketed p high how's your doge okay so i don't have that much doge contrary to popular belief I used to have 300,000, full disclosure, but now I only have 2,000. A bunch of people hit me up this week, like, yo, are you rich? And I'm like, nah, I sold out. However, do you remember that 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 altcoin I was talking about last week or last episode I was here? Nibu. Shibu. She, yeah, that fucking sh- shot up a lot, and that definitely helped me, so I wasn't really too pissed about Doge. Right on. Yeah. How much How much Shibu? How much do I have? Yeah. For like four billion. How much USD is that? It's worth like, I think I put in like 500 bucks right now. It's worth like six grand. Oh, solid. Yeah. I think it was just like going off of the Doge uh, momentum. A bunch of alts alted up. But that that would make sense that if they're making a meme coin, they would go with some Doge. I was I don't understand why Doge is getting so so high. I kind of do because uh, where's this echo coming from? <clears throat> I kind of do because like Elon and fucking uh, Mark Cuban and shit. Yeah, but just it's goes. infinite. It goes when it goes. Oh, there's no there's no point to it. But yeah, yeah, the, val- it's like the, the-, the USD value dollar of it will and can go up. 
it's like when you think about the dollar somehow being infinite, at least like you can feel a dollar, you know? But I mean, Doge people aren't in it because it does stuff. They're not looking for use cases. Yeah, They're just it in like, it because it's Doge, dude. Don't they know? Like, yo, this shit is... This shit is Probably. Might hit a bubble. I mean, hit, hit a dollar, then just go back down to... Yeah. Nothing. Well, hopefully hopefully a lot do. Because it, it did very quickly. <laughs> Yeah. Is so. did did your uh let's look at the Shibu chart, eh? Uh I was in Decentraland the other day, trying to look at some some virtual real estate. Yeah. And I might splurge on either a crypto voxel, but Decentraland, like the li- cheapest thing. I don't even know if it's like you can buy it outright. I think it's just bids, but it's like two K USD. Um <laughs> what's the ticker for Shibu? S H I B. Sheep. Oh my, this laser pointer is the best investment I've ever made. Now my cat won't fucking bother me when I'm potting. Do, 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 do. Shout out Total for the... And this came out days ago. That's interesting. <laughs> Sheboot? It's been out since August. It's, it's only but, tracking on the chart since April. Maybe, this, it, maybe it's on Uniswap since April. April is when it like actually started when it went from a 20th of a penny to a 10th of a penny. So, you know, big gains. Well, have fun with all that stuff. Yeah, I'm just uh, the juice of the account. I want to talk about altcoins. Sure. Uh, because it seems like, because I've been like doing like just exploring on Twitter and everyone's like, everyone will be like, yo, Doge, oh, you should, you should check out Doge's little brother Sheep. You should t- check out Sheep's little brother. What's it fuck? You should check out what's the fuck's little brother. What's the fuck? It seems like people are just making coins, holding the majority of them, and then, and then like, put, yeah, and then just, and then if you look at the market cap, people are making like ten million dollars, and they're making yeah, like these fake communities pumping and, and like, dumping. <laughs> how is this not? How is this it's not, not regulated? Legal? Holy shit! This Sorry. is like. How do yeah, you I, I don't tend to play that. I do tend to, uh, I'm, uh, get some, some, some crypto trading into my, my trading acumen here soon for some Cardano, some ETH, some Bitcoin. I think the three I'm going to go with, um, staking some Cardano, like I said, but I'm not, I'm not playing these altcoins, you know? Yeah, these altcoins are dangerous. Can win some, then, I don't know. I'm just, I'd, I'd rather look at other things than wonder if Shibu is going to go up, even if oh, I do I, make a tenfold. I don't even wonder. My fucking <laughs> initial investment's been out. <laughs> so now it's just like, and I don't even look at it anymore. I'm just like, if it goes Are you up, it goes taking up, at least a couple of it? Is you a quarter of it, a half of it, please? Uh, I am slowly uh, converting a little bit to Ethereum, but. I would take half right now. <laughs> take half? I don't know. Oh no! Because right. you remember last time I did that, Doge right. went to fucking thirty cents. Remember the last time, man? You said greed hurts you. Yeah, that's true. Take half. That's that's what's five hundred fold of of three thousand. I don't know, but it's a lot. You don't be a dick. Have have a little free money there. Put into Ethereum. You still got uh, do what you want, but you know, greed kills. Don't be a fat pig. Greed kills. Slaughter me. Oink, oink. <laughs> oink, oink, baby. Now I'm just kidding. Reddit yeah, meme I'm, de- I'm definitely going to liquidate soon. Um, I, I, I mean, shit. I would keep some in it. <laughs> I'd still, I have, I'd still uh, keep he, in. Here's the thing. If, you, the if thing. you make 12, I, it's threefold-ish, right? A thousand times. Because it's so, it's so fucking cheap, and I have so much of it. I so I would keep it in half of your 12-fold. <laughs> if it goes up to fucking a penny... That's thirteen million dollars. Yeah, I would, I would keep half of it in there and then have a little yeah. nice three K. <laughs> Holy shit! Don't 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 get too, you know. It can, it can always go higher, yes, but take some goddamn profit. Yeah, I need to. Got to fucking. Because <laughs> <you> literally, <laughs> literally, dude, you're like, oh, dude, I've, I've learned it from my mistakes. And then here you are just fucking your mistakes in the asshole again. 
It's like, yeah. oh, wait, but it could go shit. Just take a little profit. Take a quarter profit. Okay, I'll take, I'll take a quarter profit. That's all. Get I'll chase him little, off the top. A little I'll short. Pay off this, I'll pay off this child support. Short little ETH position, dude. Yeah. Bitcoin actually went down like overnight to like 52. What I think did? there was a tweet or something. And they're like, yo, oh. everything's scary. And then as they do, everything's scary for a couple of minutes. And there's a little, a little red and then all the institutions pie again. There was a seven and a half billion dollar liquidation yesterday, yeah. Oh, sick, dude. Can't wait to buy some more. From who? I don't know. Apparently, it's illegal to, uh, it's going to be illegal to buy or I guess, yeah, buy stuff with crypto in Turkey. The end of April. There's a few countries. I was looking at that. That's fucking stupid. There's another one besides Turkey. But I, I forget what I was looking up that I saw that Turkey off top. What if the go- the U.S. government was just like, you know what? Fuck it. Bitcoin's illegal. And then a bunch of people, just because it was illegal, was like, oh, I don't want to be a criminal, just didn't use Bitcoin. I could see that happening. But there's also, like, solid institutions in the U.S. that are doing it. Yeah. I feel like I feel like uh, I feel like the U.S. is like we're just gonna watch and see where this goes because I think we... they've. Been, I, I was reading a book and um yeah in 1934 there is a an act called the Gold Reserve Act and signify that American people could no longer hold gold with the exception of jewelry and collectors coins. So, not too far ago, people have, in the U.S. government, has outlawed some hold of value. So, I wouldn't be surprised. It's interesting. Meanwhile, 1934. Um, I've also noticed uh, a trend with a lot of these, a lot of these cryptos where they do this method called burning tokens. Where, where they'll put like 50% of the total supply in a wallet and throw away the keys so that the price can't be manipulated as much. And I'm like, huh, that's pretty fucking cool. It's nice. Someone on Twitch, <laughs> my, my guy, dude, sh- nonchalant, bought 4K of Doge. Well, when would you get in there, nonchalant? Entry is a lot more important, the most important thing. The price you get it at. My first entry into Doge was half a penny. Probably sold at about five cents, maybe. Then I got back in at five cents, and now I'm holding a comfortable amount of two thousand. I think I'm up five hundred dollars. It's fun. Yeah, it I was is. going through my ledger of the betting site that I did betting on sports with. Bitcoin as a risk asset, mm-hmm. and the numbers were not fun. I, I hadn't seen the actual numbers in a while. It wasn't a fun sight to see. Hey. It wasn't the highlight of my day. Hindsight's twenty twenty. Hindsight's a whole lot more than twenty twenty. Uh, <laughs> hindsight's perfect, clear vision. Um. Uh, this fucking guy was like. Uh, I don't fucking know his name, but he said all the assets, all the assets in the world, stocks, bonds, equities, excluding real estate, amounts to about, what did he say? Something like $60 trillion or something. Mm -hmm. And the crypto market cap with everything is about $2 trillion. Well, like U.S. stocks and bonds? I believe everywhere in, in the entire world. He know. said, he said something, he said like a, a ridiculous number. Because the, the U.S., I learned recently, is the U.S. stocks is relatively small, especially to like Forex stuff, currency. Yeah. But yeah, I, th- I, I could see that Bitcoin has a whole lot of money. I mean, it's global, just like a foreign currency thing. Well, like crypto or just Bitcoin? Crypto, yeah. Crypto. Yeah, crypto is, I mean, you're, you're, that's literally a, a foreign exchange market that is unregulated and people can make any amount of assets they want in it. So I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. It's fucking, 
nuts. I've been listening to a lot of shit on NFTs and NFT Ethereum music and everything. NFT music, uh, kind of mostly about like education and shit. But this guy was like, "Yo, imagine in the future, they make like our Lady Gaga makes fucking Lady Gaga coin or some shit, and mm-hmm. she like." Or the Lakers make a Laker token and Lakers fans trade it amongst each other. When the Lakers are doing well, the cost of the Laker token goes up in value or whatever. You That'd know? be fun. And if you hold Laker tokens, you can fucking get merch or maybe you can get tickets or whatever. And like people or artists could use that method to like fund their career so they wouldn't have to rely on record labels necessarily. Yeah. So I'm like, wow! I can't wait for that. That's fucking brilliant. Kind of, it kind of makes you a publicly traded company. Yeah, it does. It's a little uh, cliff to walk on there to bet on yourself. There was, I wonder like how I that said, there was already a site that, like, I saw two thought artists doing that were like, you can you can set up your own token for people to buy. So clout coin. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I've um, seen that. I wonder how that will affect, like, the mental. If, like, your coin goes down 50%, or you're like, shit, I'm not worth anything, dude. I'm fucking trash. I mean, you kind of already have that with, like, streams, but it's very one-to-one. Yeah. That's fucking funny. I wonder who will be, like, the most valuable person in terms of coinage that'll, like, be, like, the ultimate social status, huh? Perhaps. Bon Gin coins worth like 80 grand. Sure. And then when I die, it just goes to zero. Or would it go to like more? Why do you go to zero? Because they figured out that he was a fraud. Uh, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Assassinated. I haven't done shit. We're at 20-ish? Or? We're at 20-ish. Hold your Michael Jackson coins. Let's take a break in the second tree master. I'm going to go put this burrito in the fridge. Thank you, YouTube, for showing me that. Sunny Thank Cologne. you, YouTube. Sunny Cologne with an I. Sunny. Sunny. Sunny, but with an extra N. Provide in all caps. I feel like it's just a guitar song. It's pretty cool. Welcome back to Ricker and Bond. I'm Ricker, that's Bond. That's me. And we pod, we pod hard. Talk about everything you like. So fucking hard. Goddamn. I pod so hard. I don't even know. What the last do. episode, I kind of just ended up talking about, like, class inequity. Did you see that one thing about uh, that beaches, that uh, Bruce's Beach? Bruce's Beach? Is that the, yeah, you were talking about? They, um, like, gave back uh, some Gave dudes, it back dudes, to the black people, the to state. the black family. Yeah. yeah, I was learning the the his context behind that. And in 1924, this family bought some real estate on like a beachfront LA property for mm-hmm. like a thousand bucks at the time. So I don't know how much that is, but they enterprised it into like a, a resort that catered towards black people. And mm-hmm. they got ran out by some, some white folk, I'm assuming. And they got eminent domain and the estate was a vacant lot until like the sixties and they made a park. Hmm. Now they gave it back. Damn. How big yeah. was it? Huh? You know how big it was? No, not explicitly, but it seemed like it. I mean, it was like a, it seems like it was like a beach resort. <laughs> Damn, that's cool. Yeah. Can I join that family or what's up? Well, I don't know. Like, I don't know how much they even got for it now, but like 1924, because they get so, so they got they didn't have it 
into like i'm assuming they didn't the black family didn't get paid the amount it was actually worth or anything from 1924 to 2021 i i kind of feel like no yeah especially if you have a business on it dude seemed cool yeah that's kind of but i was wondering like why they spurred the the sale now because i get the kind of like altruism of it but still you're kind of a city and you're like well does this really hurt me were they fighting it like for a while or were they like yo our family used to own this did they just recently find that out or i don't recall i'm I'm pretty sure that they have probably been talking to the city for a minute (laughs) that's interesting yeah but 1924 did enterprise like a black beach resort man i would go there i would go there that's like and the they were like yeah we're gonna make a park dude so can we take that boys and they're like yeah and they got paid 1924 for it that i think wasn't probably full market price either um and then they just for like 40 years there's nothing there and say, so, hey, here's a here's a nice little community for you to live in Compton. We redlined it up for you. It was a uh, Manhattan Beach. Damn. So that are, are they gonna make it a, another black resort? The Bilton? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. Uh we got a little question on Instagram. Uh, one is from your boy U Vibe says, "Yo, can you add me to the shit?" And you know, R and B has not had a guest in a, in a long, long time. Besides when Bon Jam was trying to get a little Uber Dash eat, and his his man was like, "Yo, what's going on?" And I was like, "Yo, what's going on, dude? How you been?" And he was like, "Oh, nothing. I'm just trading, bro, in Chicago." Uh, how is neighbor Jeff doing? Neighbor Jeff is doing well. What's he up to? Uh, uh, he's trying to wrap his head around NFTs. He just doesn't get it. Besides that, uh, it's the same old, same old. Still dating Taylor. Still, uh, I think he's in law school or studying for law school. Man, dude, I, I found a cool thing that was a uh, someone gamified like um, instructions how to make smart contracts, and I'm gonna hop into that and see what's good with it. I don't know the future how the justice system is going to be but i know nfts are going to play a big part in it not, tra- not, maybe not nfts <laughs> ethereum like as a fucking protocol ethereum 2.0 blockchain baby yeah i love like how you can just like Adidas, go says what? Raul. but before you go into that say what you're gonna say i like how you can like go on the whatever it's called ether scan website yeah. or whatever and just go in anyone's wallet and see how much loot they have yeah dude that is a little off-putting to me really i like that because like you have the transparency but how how like if, if it goes in the what your address as everybody knows your pockets you gotta like not you gotta keep your address private and it's like a lot of um, Ethereum wallets make it pretty easy to make new wallets, so you can probably just transfer it easily, minus the fucking fee. But it's uh oh wait, and then they'd be able to track that, huh? So and so sent this money to. Never mind. Mm-hmm. Keep your wallets. <laughs> keep your wallet private. That's what I'm saying, dude. People. It's interesting. You could see like the Ether Ethereum funds wallet. There's like yeah, forty seven million. I'm like, oh okay. What's up, what guys? What are you guys sending it to, huh? So, oh, so I was I was thinking about that actually, and I was like, if you were to put a political like stance on like capitalism, socialism, where does that lie? That you, have, is... you have some voting of it. You have some like DAO. I forgot what DAO stands for, but you have voting in a lot of protocols for like, if you hold enough coins, you can vote on what this community does. But it's also a trans, super transparent system, which I'm not really sure where that would lie on like a political thing. Maybe some democracy. But. Transparency? Uh, I don't know. It's interesting. I don't know. Because you know exactly where everything and the, is. And, and the immutableness of it, too. Mm-hmm. As, I mean, as long as the... But I can't really see this not happening. I was going to say, as long as the government doesn't get involved, but of course they would somehow. I would say it's pretty libertarian. 
kind of. But then also you could be like, I don't know. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that would be. Why would you say libertarian? Just because it's outside of U.S. government stuff? Yeah, kind of. But then it's also directly voted on by stakeholders in some assets. Yeah. So you have your government. Would that be so? I guess that. I guess that. That sounds more like. That sounds more like a capitalism, than. Kind of pure democracy. Jesus. Well, but but yeah, yeah, because it's it's a pure democracy based off of (laughs) having the money. But it's also not really socialism because, like, not everybody is getting the same amount of the currency. You have to just get it when you get it. You know. It is not well, unless like the currency see, was see, evenly distributed. Something. If you stake something, there there are some assets where like you do something and it distributes assets, which isn't exactly distributed for nothing or for the the sake of um, distributing the asset wealth. But I thought that was kind of interesting. Interesting little thought. This shit's gonna get fucking pounded on so hard by the SEC. They just don't, they're just not there yet. They're barely catching up to Robin Hood, I feel like. It's a retail trader land. Maybe. I don't know. If, if someone like China got some digital currency out, they can't be. I don't think they're sitting on their thumbs. As, I think as, that's the as, only as, reason. As soon, as soon as they see a digital currency threat, then they'll try to do something. No, not like, not like in terms of, I'm talking about the fucking, the hot equities trading altcoin market that's going on, the pump and dump fucking party mm-hmm. that's going on that seems like it's happening under the noses of regulators. Where you I have mean, people on Twitter. There's no regulation. Like, <laughs> people on Twitter are like, yo, everybody go get this coin. By the way, I'm secretly holding 80% of the supply. I mean, um, that's kind of, I mean, it's, it's a, it's a nod to the uneducation of or the uneducatedness of crypto stuff. And even just kind of like knowing pump and dump and regular equities, US equities. If I mean, if you don't know what a pump and dump is, then you're going to get fucked. But that's where you got to like do some research and get some security going. If people don't know, some people pump up prices of things and then dump it <laughs> for a profit. Is, is that the free market when... It's the, the most majority of regulation coin, <laughs> when the majority of coin is held by one wallet but the price is still determined by supply and demand artificial supply uh, yeah <laughs> it's just unregulated supply and demand and and manipulated supply and demand damn <laughs> I wish I knew how to make a coin I don't know if that's free if it's manipulated it's freely manipulated. Nice. It's like that's that's what a free <laughs> market is without coin. regulation. Like that's that's kind of why an SEC exists. Maybe besides the fact they want to make money off of it. Manipulate coin. Nike or Adidas. Do I like my Adidas? Nike or Adidas? Uh, I guess I'll go with Nike. The only shoe that I've ever like kind of fanboyed over was a a a Clyde Puma which I just realized isn't Adidas but Adidas I got confused with Puma so I'll go with Adidas I've never fanboyed over a shoe before but you know I was looking in the mirror and I was like you know what 25 I've never paid attention to my shoes ever I just get the most bland fucking pair like literally the most generic shoes ever i'm gonna get some shoes today and they're gonna be like normal shoes you know like fucking just some fucking nikes or something oh. not these fucking payless shoe so, source so i was gonna ask right off the rack like, like a dress shoe or just a, a sneaker yeah i was gonna get like a fucking like a sneaker that people are like oh this guy this guy is like he knows what a shoe is that isn't sold at fucking in the walmart clearance bin <laughs> Like, 
And like, also, I noticed that like, it's not even about that. My feet are always uncomfortable. Like, my feet <laughs> always fucking hurt. Why don't Bro, I buy man. shoes that are? I'm always walking. Why don't I buy shoes that feel good? I, I bought, I bought in the past year or two, like just like kind of comfortable walking shoes, just some like ugly ass sneakers, and that's yeah. that's that shit, boy. Like, I don't give it. Like, I don't even know what brand that is. I think it's like an Asics. But like, I was watching. I was, I, I think I was, I was walking on some. I think I was walking on those Pumas and it was just not a good, not a good sight for my feet. And I've got some, some, some dad ass walking shoes, bro. And it's great. I, I suggest some dad ass walking shoes. I fucking really, I kind of want to try like one of those shoes where like they put science into it or like, or they're like, yo, we use the best Sketchers. fucking foam or whatever. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, like whatever the most just some, child some labor. Amazon in. walking shoe keyword search. Oh, yeah. Best best shoes that don't fuck your shit up. The worst shoes I've ever worn are Converse. Yeah. By far. Did, it have, did it have the uh, that hard tip at the front? Yeah. I'm so not with that. <laughs> They're so flat. I might have done it once in my life. I might have had like, I might have had one of those, but not into those. <sighs> Can't I was a Vans it. kid. I enjoyed some Vans off the wall. Uh, some beige, beige vans. Um, like I said, some some Clyde Pumas. I, I was into what Clyde Fraser and Puma. The history of like, not, uh, I think that's kind of how I'm, like shoe craze. I forgot my shit's gonna die soon. Is that three percent? Um, we're not close to twenty, are we? <gasps> Five minutes away. Hey, let's take a quick break then, huh? Let's take a quick break while Clyde John gets his. Charger. Charger. First song since Spotify started. Hey guys, what's up? I can feel my breathing. It's so nice. It's like a blanket on my life. New Rick Rubin. Let me stay here for forever in this state of classical denial. Yo, shut the fuck up. Yo, shut the fuck up. Yo, shut the fuck up. Wow, that was awful. It's called Grapes of Wrath. I think it's kind of a meme song about a book. That was kind of meme Raff songs though, a little bit. By John Steinbeck. Say so you get what? The Grapes, Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck, an have American you read classic such literature. I have. It's about the Dust Bowl. About what? It's about old white ass farmers in California, or I think they live somewhere else and like their farm gets taken. I want to say by eminent domain, but I'm not quite sure. But yeah, they live like their farm that's been in their family for generations is taken and they have to like fucking travel to California or something and like they die or some of them die or something, something like that. I may be like fucking up some of the details, but that's the, that's the gist of it. Okay. Yeah, the I don't think I'm wrath. Oh actual... no 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 no! Or maybe I'm thinking of another story, also by John Steinbeck, about a fuck about two guys. One like I want to say, I want to say one's name is like Lenny and Carl or some shit, and one's like one's like retarded, and then at the end of the fucking the story, the smart guy like kills the retarded guy because he's like he's just too dumb. Damn. But it like takes place during the, all of his books take place during the Great Depression. Hmm. Greatly depressed. Yeah, John Steinbeck. Damn. Author. Yeah, I have to Damn read that Steinbeck. shit in school. Third trimester, Rick and Bond in depth conversation about what is appropriate at the time. I'm Rick. That's Bond. That's me. And this is what we do. Pod. Hard. A little too hard. But Any, not hard uh, enough. Progress with car phone zone. Uh, not since I lowered the ad spend to ten dollars a month, but now yeah. that I I had this this fucking sheep juice up, I may s- yeah. juice I, it I up to fucking if, as if uh, Doge gave you some some sales money or ad money, but I'm, I'm about to I'm about to fucking oh, redirect brother. redirect maybe allocate allocate a grand to advertising, see how that turns out. Yeah, I'm trying. I was. Tr- Cause I, my Shopify little uh, trial ended, and I was really trying to 
think about the risk reward to all that. Well, I don't, I don't know if I don't think the, the rewards do great. This is my fifth or sixth time drop shipping, and I still am not profitable. So, but like, if you are profitable, you fucking kill it. That's the thing. It just has to be a solid product, I guess. But like, in yeah. the US drop shipping, like, what's good? Dude, I, I US drop shipping still takes a long time. Yeah. People email me like, "Yo, where's my shit?" I'm like, "Ugh, it's yeah. coming." Fuck. It's yeah, like they yeah, fucking yeah. ship it to China and then they ship it back to America. <laughs> That's what it seems like. They put it on a boat, dude. God damn. Literally just a big old cargo ship. These boats move so fucking slow, dude. <laughs> like, oh, boats actually go kind of fast, bro. Oh, my damn. God. What's up with these futures? Love me some futures. Some corn, bro. You ever uh, trade corn? My fucking... Do I trade corn? No, I don't yeah. trade corn. No, why not? I don't know. My global star uh, contracts looking terrible collectively. I think I'm 56% down. Mm. Um, everyone on Reddit has lost hope. Mm. They're like, yo, Apple could buy this company tomorrow and the stock would still go down. Like something's going on like with this shit. It doesn't add up. Like all this good news keeps coming out. They keep making, they keep doing all these deals. They keep making all good these products. goes and the stock goes down the market isn't good i learned that the other day <laughs> this is some fucking price manipulation it's like something's going on with this or it's stock. Just i need a to bad get company. out <laughs> i need to get out it's a good company they fucking they made a profit last quarter okay. so i don't understand make a profit maybe you research companies that have one companies and stocks are always different kind of it should be that technicals show you a fundamental of what a company is. But maybe you do some research on some companies that have been in the profit, bad stock prices, see what their correlation is. It's because the employees own all the stock. All the stock? Most of it. A lot of it. And they're selling it? I don't know what they're doing, but they're doing something with it. Okay. Something well, ain't something ain't right. Someone Or it's exactly right. <laughs> Something what it is, right. it's fact I gotta get out. Way. I gotta get out. Is. I gotta get out. I mean, you got a year, bro. But I can't. Market's gonna go up eventually. I got, I got a year. I mean, everything has been going go up. up. <laughs> global, global Star will continue to tank. Everything has literally been going up, but, you know, that's, I guess, neither here nor there. Except it's very here if, if the thing that you're holding while everything is going up is going down i got a share coinbase that went down oh yeah yeah, yeah that was interesting uh that, coinbase that live on the nasdaq dude. what's that right now like coinbase, 3 30, I everybody's think? favorite went all the way up to 4 30 ooh 4 30 4 30 4 30 and then it was like ooh no we're gonna go down and we're gonna stay about 341 I think, I think I, I saw someone's has tweet a... that was uh, showed. Is my computer almost dead too? Six, five percent. Oh boy, I have to cut it. Um, it was the. Uh, <laughs> it was it was the same market cap of I think it was market cap of all the car companies combined. Bitcoin With is. The, no, Coinbase. Oh. Uh, and he's like, yeah, it doesn't really make sense there. But, huh, like well, I said, let's think about the, it. Let's think about that. Dude. Let's think about that. Okay. Cars. Cars are important. Okay. But. But. The stock market looks to the future, and the majority of car companies are taking a long time to adopt stuff that will be in the future. So mm -hmm. a lot of car companies are really low, like fucking Ford is almost worth fucking nothing, mm -hmm. but Tesla's like a lot, and uh, GM's doing a little better because they're taking Cause electric they more seriously. 
and their logo, logo looks like shit in my opinion but you know that's neither here nor there um autonomous vehicles you're not really seeing a lot of that except from companies that aren't even car companies like google and apple so and coinbase is one of the only i'm just gonna call it a bank because that's what it is Mm. Uh, that's public on the public exchange so it's also that are on exchange it's also one of the few companies that's hopping onto the stock market that's already generating a profit. It However, I, I learned there's a difference between IPO and direct listing. What did they do, IPO? They did a direct listing, which kind of uh, undercuts some of the process of an IPO. Spotify did the same thing. Some other people as well. What's the, the difference? Um, but what I think with a direct listing, there's no lock period on people that had the private shares before it went public. And in an IPO, you have to, you're locked into having shares for a long time. Or a period of time. Yeah, I am afraid that if like Bitcoin has a like a major correction, which I definitely think it will the this year. Yeah, I think I had a dream about Bitcoin going down to like 20,000. I think uh, I think Coinbase will go down with it because everyone, a lot of people won't know the difference. Yeah, I mean, they'll be like, because if you think about it, their, if you think about it, S one or S two, whatever it's called. If Bitcoin, let's say Bitcoin continues on this bull path, hits a hundred thousand dollars, and then it's like, all right, later, and then just dives down to like thirty thousand, and everyone's like, yo. This fucking shit lost 70% of its value in two days. How valuable could the company that issues this asset possibly be? Well, they said that. They said it's very tied to the, the crypto value, valuability of crypto. Oh, good. As, as long as they point. understand that, then. They understand that. <laughs> They're the company that has to make sure other people understand. As long but, as I mean, grandma I mean, and grandpa understand. There, Bitcoin, is Bitcoin going back up? Bitcoin dies as a currency asset. Has Bitcoin died? In, no. in that scenario, in that scenario. Uh, no, go back like up? maybe it's, it's going to go back up, but it's going to be like a, it's going to be a nasty drop. It's going to be a nasty a, drop. A big old, big old little drop there in the company as well. I can't wait. I can't wait. I want to buy one Bitcoin. If it went down to 20,000. Fucking gambling ledger, bro. Oh my god, I would just... How well, Okay, at your peak, how many Bitcoin did you hold? I didn't count. It was multiple. Oh, so it was, it was, a, it was more than 10? Oh, yeah. 20? Well, I mean, in, in, no, no, not at one time. Oh. How a, much did you hold a, at one a, time? Accumulated currency into that system. More than that. Wow. My average bit was 0.01. That's really uh, unfortunate. It is what it is, son. Uh, I'm trying to look at. Some, I yeah, heard I he has a TD whole coin. Tray, bro. TD Ameritrade got some fun little things to look at. Like what? Money. Fundamentals and some charts. I gotta stop. My computer's about to die. Thanks for listening, everybody. Bye. Oh, all right. Bye, everyone.